Keynote. So basically this is the inner workings of Keynote. It's simply, you know, pretty much cut and paste. Uh, when I first started this thing out, I really just chose a theme. There's a bunch of themes in here um, that I can choose from. Uh, I just chose the gradient theme, real basic, boring. Um, you could go to fancy, to not so fancy, whatever you wanted to choose in here. Um, and everything would switch accordingly. So uh, let's just, you know, for argument's sake, switch it real fast. It'll apply the theme across the board. Um, maybe just a one slide here, I'm not quite sure. Um, Nope, it'll apply across the, or just the one slide, so I canceled out of that. But um, as you can see, I just basically typed in the box. Um, I added some uh, strokes, which are basically the uh, borders to each of these things. Um, on the transitions, that's what can be all done here with this button and this button. These two here. One transitions from screen to screen, and one transitions the effects on the screen, which is each of the boxes themselves. So i.e. this one here that had the transition... Um, the sparkle transition, which shows the sparkle there um, as it goes. So, um, like that. So, that's that showed up in my slideshow. So, as you already saw. So, uh, pretty simple. Just go through and you add, you, you uh, just basically create these slides as you need them. Um, again, I just on this next slide, all I did is simply take a screen capture shot of this um, with Jing, which I'll show you in a minute. And Jing, and I saved it to my desktop. Um, before I did that, I added these arrows and I added the text box. Um, and then I saved it to my desktop and I just simply drug it from my desktop right here and then I shrunk it to size. And then uh, Keynote's really, really cool. Um, it allows me, it does all these arrows all the time and it keeps me centered. So that makes it really, really fancy to uh, make it easy on me to make the adjustments between uh, um, top and bottom. Keith wanted to edit the slideshow I already shot for you guys. Um, then last but not least, um, the, you know, the, the final slide here, again, it's just I added the stroke on the, on the, on the um, border, which I chose a different one so you can see the variety here that you have with the, the uh, Keynote software. So I'll show you how to use Jing first. We'll be right back. You know, what's funny is I'm using Jing right now. I realize that. And um, since I'm using Jing, I can't exactly uh, show it to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the actual slide I chose um, and we can go from there, but it won't let me show you what Jing does. So you're just gonna have to trust me. Jing does a few things. You simply have to select the, se the section of the page that you want to get done, um, and from there, um, meaning if I wanted to take more or less of this screen, I could always do that, uh, move the things around. But um, anyway, this uh, is a you know good powerful software that allows us to make some adjustments or it makes it recording the screen. All right, so this is just the actual screenshot. All I did is simply drug that into the PowerPoint presentation and ended up with this slide. I had to resize this little thing right here, but it actually turned out pretty good. Um, and it works out real well for what we're trying to accomplish here. So um, again, this uh, screenshots plus the uh, PowerPoint slides here, um, everything all works together. I, I wish I could show you the top of the screen. All it is is simply the play button um, that recorded the slideshow. I failed to mention that earlier, but it's just the play button. It says uh, record slideshow. Um, I can't exactly bring that to you since it's all the way at the top of the screen, but it simply says record slideshow. You start, rec you hit the record button, and on my Mac, my microphone's built right into it. I simply talk into the, the computer screen, and voila, you hear my voice, and it records it. And when it's all said and done, I need to export it. And what I need to do is hit the, the share button and export, um, and I need to turn this file into a, a file that's in basically the best quality possible that includes the audio and includes the slideshow recording. And then I just hit simply hit next, and it's uh, gonna you know, ask me to save a name to it. So I'm just gonna call this how to, how video, um, and uh, it'll save it in my movie section. And um, once that goes in there, it'll take a few minutes to record, but I'll do that now. And uh, what I'll do is I'll pull that up in iMovie, and once we have it in iMovie, we're set to go. We'll we'll uh, go ahead and edit all this stuff together. All right, so I'm back. It took a couple minutes to upload the movies into, into iMovie, and uh, as you can see here, I'm in iMovie, and uh, this is the video that I just shot for you a second ago. Um, it is all inside of uh, here, and then I've also got my intro, 
a couple other things here that I work on. Um, here, this is the intro that I should chose. So I'm going to go ahead and start right from scratch. I'm going to hit uh, create a new file or a new project. Um, hit to make a movie or make a video. Oops, I can spell here. Um, and then I'm just going to choose a blank. You have a bunch of other choices here. Um, once you get more advanced, you, these just create different transitions. It's probably meant more for like vacation videos and or um, some family type stuff or kid stuff, but not really professional layouts or anything there. Just a lot of um, real basic stuff for photo albums and other kind of fun stuff that you might put together for your kids or your family. But um, we'll go ahead and hit create on that. What it does is it opens up the slide. Um, we know we're going to open up this video right here, as you've probably already seen this part, but it's kind of ironic. I'll show you how I made the video as <laughs> the video is being made. So that's our intro um, that you've already seen. Here it is again um, in a kind of a flash forward frame by frame kind of thing without the noise because the noise is all built in there. Now I'm going to go back to my last uh, video here and I'm going to take and I'm going to grab this whole section. Uh, hit done, and I'm gonna take and I'll drag this up here and put that right at the end. Um, so far, right now, what I've done is I've basically taken, I've combined together the screenshot together with the intro, and now I'm gonna go find the um, uh, the do, 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 the keynote presentation that I did. It's not currently where I thought it was. I'll be right back. And so I'm back. I've got the video here now for the slideshow present slideshow presentation in. Um, Keynote, and we'll go ahead and select it all, hit done over here, and then drag this right between my beginning here. So now this is the video you've already seen, this whole section here, all this together, and now I'm on to the final piece here where basically this is the final end. I can put a beginning and end to it, anything I want to to it. Um, I could add more photos to it. Oh, it looks like I need to finish the cropping. It won't, it automatically crops everything, it meaning it makes it short or fits it to screen. I always have it fit because it'll cut off the sides of the bottom, um, especially when I'm doing a lot of these screen capture stuff. So um, I just select a whole piece of it and I clip it together. Now, if you're editing for sound, uh, meaning if you're like, say for instance, you're, you're going through this thing and you, you made some mistakes along the way and you had to start over, you would just simply want to select p p bits and pieces of it like this and you can simply delete um, you can add uh, transitions and things like this in the beginning that look, you know, that it look like uh, certain things like if you can see down here how these little things move around like this. I can insert one of those right in here, uh, for instance, and put this little look to it. Let's put use gradient since it matches. And then I could easily change this text to how to make a movie. A video, actually. Hit done. And then if you can see here, it'll simply play, look just like that. So I can also add music by hitting the music button here. There's a bunch of built-in uh, videos or audios right here built into this thing. You can simply add those to it. For instance, you can add that. You can add something like this. Um, just like this. There you go. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll add one of those at the, the end here. So... Um, I guess in conclusion, I just wanted to show to show you how easy it is to kind of add this all together. Um, I'm going to have to cut it real short here because I'm running out of time because, you know, YouTube only allows me so much time to get this stuff all in here. But I'll make sure I add this a couple little things in here, some transitions and stuff that make this thing look good. So as you watch the video, or if you've watched it, maybe watch it again for production value, meaning watch the thing spin, flip, noise, music, transitions from screen to screen, because um, simply to add a transition like, hey, listen, like the corner peel, let's say I wanted the corner to peel between the end of this thing and then this one, just simply go down here, drag it straight from here to up, and that's it. And it goes straight from that, and the corner peels, just like that. And then I start talking. All right, all right, after. So, and it's pretty interesting how that all ties together and how easy it is to use. Use YouTube to figure out anything you don't have an answer for. Type it right into YouTube, and it'll help you answer those questions. And... Um, I hope that's uh, sufficient for you, and if you have any further questions, please contact me um, at the link. I'll make sure there's a link right in here with my um, contact information, and we can go from there. Talk to you later.